Greetings Nigerians. Congratulations to all of us for that incredible united force as citizens in the last presidential election. I have never been so proud of Nigerians like this. Our tenacity, our resilience, our sacrifices, our commitment to orderliness and to, to legitimate freedom is the best in the whole world. In my next life, I will be a Nigerian. I want to assure you that we are winning this battle. Don't expect the Nigerian oligarchy to give up easily, right? So do not be frustrated at their games and their tricks, even though your impatience is justifiable. But let's show them that we are not only stronger, but we are smarter. The eyes of Africa and the world are on us as citizens. We will teach them how to handle these situations or situations like this. And they will respect us as citizens and the nation at the global stage. Our unity is our strength and power right now. So we are not doing anything to give it up. You know, they actually expect us to throw to the streets and destroy our own country and set it ablaze, but we say no. And they also expect us to divide now and lose our strength as the biggest black nation in the whole world and the soul of Africa, but we say no. We are not going to divide because of the few bad eggs among us. We have come a long way in love and unity to make history for our nation. So these few bad eggs cannot divide us as a nation right now, right? Our sin is that for once in the history of Nigeria, our nation, we are rising up and pleading that they give us our rights and treat us like human beings. Is that too much to ask? So if the outcome of this election is thwarted, I encourage all of us to do the following. First, we shall follow the rule of law and observe all our rules of engagement as citizens. All citizens shall be more united than ever before in love and resilience for the sake of our dear nation and humanity to come. We seek more civil solutions that do not affect the common citizens, but designed to hum humble our oppressors. They can't survive without us. We know that. We are their blood, soul, and spirit. We shall go to court with our principals, His Excellency Mr. Pitobi and Yusuf Dati, and attend all court sessions in massive crowds on the days of court sittings. The court premises may not contain us, but we shall show our massive solidarity as true citizens that day, even staying outside the premises. We shall be very ready to testify as citizens and as witnesses in the court of law with all our field evidences secured during the election. So keep them jealously. They are still our powers. If they still hold on to our civil rights and mandates, we shall also consider and agree when we shall go on a peace and unity strike nationwide. This is not a street protest this time. We want to do things differently. During this time, we shall withdraw all public services to our oppressors anywhere in Nigeria and focus on supporting the most vulnerable and victims, um, the victims and, and the most marginalized among us. During that period, we shall seek God's strength in various ways we relate to him for grace, but in more practical ways this time. I and my team shall provide more details on this strategy when the time comes, and we shall seek your views and approval as our fellow colleagues and compatriots for more civil and united action. Our request is not too much. We just want to live like human beings. We want to love. We want to forgive. We want to have our country back for the sake of humanity. There is nothing like a change whose time has come. This is a peaceful movement of God in Nigeria, irrespective of our tribes and religion. Please do not be discouraged. The wine is getting sweeter every day. So I want to assure you that the new Nigeria is here and darkness must give way to light. If I speak your mind, please share with other citizens Let's have this united common force. So help us God. Amen. Thank you for listening.